Welcome everyone to The New Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Bill Spicer. On this week's show, I'm guesting Chad Thompson and Pasha Lake Cabins, and we're gonna try some of the world-class walleye fishing in the area. He's also got a surprise for me with some whitefish. We'll talk about the flies, the equipment, and the technique, everything you're gonna to need to know to be successful. It's gonna be a great show, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Algoma Kinawabi Travel Association, Ontario Tourism, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions. On this week's show, I'm in Pasha Lake, located in Ontario's beautiful North Country. I'm the guest of Chad Thompson, owner of Pasha Lake Cabins. Chad claims to have over 200 different locations to fish in the area. The pristine wilderness and sheer beauty of the area is breathtaking. Northern Ontario never fails to impress me. The first location Chad took me to was a bit of a hike, but the well-groomed trail was an easy walk and I enjoyed the morning. Just a little tap. It wasn't wasn't a big hit. Walleye fishing is is notorious for light hits. He's got a big head shake here. I've got a bunny leech on, clouser style, which means it's got dumbbell eyes, which gives it weight. I'm right down on the bottom, and this didn't take us long. We've been here about five minutes, and this uh, feels like a decent fish. So let's see what we got. Like I said, we've been here five minutes. And we get ourselves a decent fish here. And there's there's no barb in it, uh, Chad, so uh, you should have no problem uh, getting the hook out. Didn't have him hooked very well. <laughs> well enough to get him. Yeah. There you go. Nice fish. Nice fish, nice fish. That's probably about a 24, 23 inch walleye. First Not bad for a first one, huh? <laughs> and away he goes. <laughs> well, you know, walleye can be done on the fly. You just got to adjust your rig to get down to the bottom and try to copy what the hardware guys are doing as far as the color of their jigs. If there's any feathers they're using on the jigs, use the same color. Uh, that's pretty much what I've done is I, I've, I've got a bunny leech that looks much like a jig. And when we talk about the flies, I'll show you the, the fly itself that I used. The water depth that we are fishing in is between eight and 14 feet. So the setup that we're using today is a clear intermediate sinking line and attached to that approximately four feet of 12 pound fluorocarbon leader and attached to that is a weighted fly. The technique we're using today is simple. We're allowing the boat to drift with the wind and I'm using a twitching motion to make the fly look like it's alive as it moves along the bottom of the lake. When a fish takes the fly, all you will feel is the line stop. At this point, strike. Okay, fish on. Oh boy. Chad just moved us over to the islands. We weren't having much luck where we were earlier. The water temperature has dropped approximately 14 degrees in the last 72 hours. So we've run into a cold front situation. Now we just got here and it's my first cast and it's a little calmer water for some reason. I'll actually be able to take down my hood. Oh, 
Boy, I probably have a northern. Yeah, I was gonna say, are you getting much of a head shake there? I'm, I'm getting a lot of body shakes. <laughs> Boy, he's 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 heading south. South, he's pretty upset with me. Oh, it's a white fish. A great big white fish. This is <laughs> completely unexpected. Bring him over on this side again. Oh, this is a huge white fish. <laughs> they are scrappers, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Great scrappers. Now, this is something else. Look at it go. That would be something if we get into a few more of these. Wow, we perfect. Now, you ready? Yep. My goodness, look at this. Now, this was completely, completely unexpected. Nice big white fish like this. Huh. That is a tall tale sign that the water temps have dropped. When the they water start temps come have dropped. The, the white fish, they really like the water, the water to be cool. So I'll let him down. And wait till he's ready to. Well, he's pretty scrappy. I'm really. Huh, this is the first big whitefish that I've ever taken that size, anyways. And uh, I'm really impressed with the fight. I couldn't get over it how uh, how it took off and went right around the boat. Excellent. Well, I'd really like to get another one of them. But we're actually after walleye. Uh, they hit. This is called a bunny leech, and it's tied uh, clouser style. As you can see, it's got barbell eyes. It's got uh, rabbit fur, and it undulates in the water. And all I've been doing is stripping it back and twitching it like so. Huh? Give that another try. I'm going to check my knot. And yeah, I think it's okay. Go again. Wow. <laughs> On this week's show, the equipment I used is a number eight weight, nine foot rod. Now this rod is of stiff action simply because I'm throwing big weighted flies. The reel I'm using is a large arbor with a smooth drag system. The fish around here are large and you're gonna need a drag system to fight them properly. The line I'm using is one line, it's a intermediate sinking line. Uh, I'm not using a full sink or a floating line, although I do have them with me in case I run into a situation I need them. But I had the uniform sink, uh, we're only in about 8 to 10 feet of water at the most, so this uh, intermediate sinking line is all I needed. Yeah, you know, one of the things that draws our guests year after year, people that come back year after year, is the sheer variety of the area, just not the variety in the, in the number of fish that we fish or the game fish that we pursue, but also the lakes. You know, we fish so many different lakes and that is people find really, really appealing. But uh, as far as the fish goes, we fish uh, pike, trophy pike, numbers pike, trophy walleye, number walleye, brook trout, lake trout, whitefish, perch. So we have uh, just a whole gamut uh, of game fish that we pursue, uh, pursue every year. All right, let's go drifting by this island and it's another walleye. Just a drift, a slow drift, and all you feel is the line stop. He took it right down. And, and away he goes, thank you. And away he goes. 
great. Well, Pasha Lake was started originally as a logging camp back in the late 40s and it was a staging area for loggers going up north on their two-week rotations. Um, the owner of the property then just housed the loggers and eventually it turned into a fishing camp uh, in the early 50s. There's been four previous owners, I'm the fourth owner, and we purchased in 2005. The fishing had slowed down, so Chad suggested we head back and get a good night's sleep and try one of the local rivers that he knows. He promised me some fast action, and he didn't disappoint me. Now, the situation I'm in, I have a lot of high trees behind me. I'm using an intermediate line, so the type of cast is limited to what I can do. Um, I usually would try a spay cast of some what, but I don't have a floating line. Uh, my sinking line here, I'm going to try a steeple cast, which is a way up high and then try to force it out. And it's done like this. Cast way up high in the back and down, way up high in the back and down, high in the back and then out. And that's just the way it is. Uh, you have to deal with different situations and learn to, learn to cope with them. And the steeple cast is one of them. Now what I'm doing, after I cast out, it's an intermediate line, I have a weighted fly. I'm giving it time to sink to the bottom. Um, Chad says it's about 14 feet deep here, so I want to get it right to the bottom, and then I re retrieve my, my line like so. And then just little short uh, six inch to eight inch pulls. Yeah, there, just like that. The flies we used today for walleye were bunny leeches. The first was yellow, and the second was white. When we moved on to river whitefish, bright colors were the choice, and we had to downsize our flies considerably. All these flies were in sizes 8 to 10. The first fly was a chartreuse clouser minnow. The second was a red and white clouser minnow. And the third fly that proved successful was a blue sparkle minnow. Here's a recipe for the most successful fly, a chartreuse clouser minnow. The hook is a Mustad S71SZ34007. The thread, 6 aught white or uni mono. The eyes are real eyes plus yellow and black pupils. The belly, bucktail or polar bear in white. The flash, crystal flash UV pearl and chartreuse. The back, bucktail or polar bear in chartreuse. fight this one with the line. Yeah. Now what I'm using, it's a sparkle kind of minnow pattern with some red in it, white body. I'm just trying to copy any, any bait fish that, that are in this area. I didn't realize these fish fight so well. This is an eight weight rod I got, and look at how he's bent it over. For the beginners in, in, the, in our audience, this rod is probably rated for steelhead. And this is a small whitefish. Look at this. He's taking line on me. I'm going to have to get him on the reel.
Now I've lost two previous to this, so I don't want to horse them too much. They got a very soft mouth. And this is a decent fish, but nice, nice white fish. They fight real good. Away you go. And they're slimy. <laughs> Now, all I'm feeling is the line tighten up. That's all I'm feeling, just a tightening of the line, and that's when I set the hook. Oh, yeah. Huh. Not bad, not bad. Not as scrappy as that last one, though. That last one was really something. Yeah, I, get it. Uh, I don't know where, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. The water here is very black on the bottom, and this, you can lose sight of the fish real easy. There's number two. And very nice white fish. Hold them up so the camera to see. Very nice. Another one just jumped right over there. Right, they're, they're, they're in here like crazy. And away you go, and away it goes. Get a bit of a shower there, but that's okay. Now, one of the advantages that uh, Passion Lake Cabins has, Chad has over 200 different areas he can take you to catch fish. Yesterday, we ran into some serious situations after a very bad cold front coming through, and the water temperature had dropped about 14 degrees. Thus, uh, you know, our, our, our luck was limited. We did catch some fish, but not many. But he says, I've got the spot for you, Bill. And boy, he wasn't lying, I'm telling you. This is just incredible. Uh, for those who watch the show regular, they know I'm a river fisherman. I love this kind of water. Uh, I can deal with it real easy. So him having this, and he says, this isn't, this isn't all. He has a whole lot of other places he can go to. So I'd highly recommend you give Chad a call. There we go, fish on. Now, what I've discovered is I've had to downsize my, my fly. I tried a larger bunny leech and I never got a touch. Well, now I put on a small clouser and it's only like a size 10. And my first cast, I got my fish. Wow, I can't get over this. <laughs> And Chad has this at his front door every day. I just can't believe this. Keep his head up and into the net we go. Great. And nice, about a two pound whitefish. I'm telling you, they fight in incredible. Nothing but muscle. And for those who do take a fish or two for the plate, they're very good eating. I've cast it about a half a dozen times in different areas with no hits. So now it's time to change up flies. I've got a chartreuse on right now. I think I'm gonna try a fluorescent orange. They seem to like the bright colors. Chad was telling me that the, the gear guys here will use uh, twister tails in bright colors, spinners. So they, 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 they like the brighter colors. So this is what I'm doing with my flies. And, I'll, and that, that's a good point. For the beginners in the, in, the, in the audience, 
If you're trying to figure out what to fish in areas that most of the fishing is, is uh, spin fishing, just try to copy what the spin fishermen are doing with the colors of uh, whatever spinner they're using or whatever plug they're using. Uh, just copy it and the size with your flies. It's easy, it's like matching the hatch. Fish on, yes, that one followed. I thought I felt a little tap at first and then he kept going so I just kept stripping. Followed behind, that happens a lot. You get a little short strike and then all of a sudden bango. This one I haven't seen yet. He's staying down. Wow, we. That's another white fish. Just a stronger. I guess it's like any anything else. Some are stronger than others. This one is really strong. I can't seem to get his head up. Oh, he's got me in the glare there. We get him? All right, good. Thank you, sir. And a very fine example of a whitefish. Tremendous scrappers, I'm really impressed. I'll let him go quickly. And away you go, yeah. Well, folks, we actually, we run out of time for today. The fishing's been so good. I'm gonna continue fishing here, and uh, if you want information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the World Wide Web at www.thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, we'll see you next time. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Algoma Kinawabi Travel Association, Ontario Tourism, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions.